What's up, what's up, and welcome back to North Lake Survivors. I'm Jonathan. Zelda. All right, so what, uh, New Year's just passed. It's a new year, 2024. 2024. Uh, so what did you do for New Year's? Uh, we went to Florida. Um, hung out with the Floridians. They're Floridians. So very, did you find any Florida guys? Very crazy Florida people. Nice, making sure you're <laughs> What did they do in Florida? What happened? Um... Well, first we went to the aquarium. That was fun. It was super crowded. <laughs> <laughs> and I did end up getting sick, but I'm better now. At I the aquarium? After, like two days after. So I, I don't know if it was the aquarium or maybe before. Like a cold or? It's a cold, yeah. Um, but uh, after, like on New Year's Eve, we were, we had like a little get together at my friend's house and we had a little campfire and they, we made s'mores, so that was fun. I never that done that. Fun. I never done that before. You've never been camping? I've never done that, and I've never made actual s'mores. Oh, I, I've done both. I'm not a big yeah. fan of s'mores because I hate marshmallows, but it's fun. It's, it was good. I had it with the Reese's chocolate. It yeah. So oh, good. I've never had it with Reese's. It I always get so it with Hershey's. Good. Yeah, they had Reese's chocolate. I was like, ooh, this is amazing. You need to try s'mores with Reese's chocolate. I don't like marshmallows, but I love roasting marshmallows. I didn't know how to do it. Like, I put it in the fire, and I didn't know you were supposed to blow it out. I just kept it there, <laughs> and then it kept like going darker and darker, and I was like, "Oh, is it gonna stop?" And then the person across me was like, "You're supposed to blow it out." Have you never made s'mores before? I was like, "No." <laughs> is that your first time going camping? No, we didn't go camping. It was just in the back in their backyard. They have a fire pit. Yeah, they had a fire pit. Oh, okay, okay. It was so cool because everyone was shooting off fireworks, so it, we had our own little private fireworks show. That is awesome. It was awesome. That is awesome. But then one guy, like, they bought their fireworks, and one guy, he was, like, pretending to put the firework in the fire pit, and I was like, holy shit. <sighs> I was like, what if you drop that accidentally, and we're all dead? This is well, what if a spark hits it, and it <laughs> goes off in your head? Like, he, we were all around the fire pit, and he goes like this. I bolted. Everybody else sat there. I was the only one that ran, and I was like, what's wrong with you guys? Because fires... <laughs> Fire shoots up little sparks. Yeah. If a spark hit that, I'm like, we would all do toast. This is why New Year's and Fourth of July, people end up in the hospital <laughs> with like burns and missing limbs because of things like that. Oh my god! I was like, what the hell? Fireworks are cool, but you got to be smart about it. Yes, he literally went like this over the fire pit. I was like, holy shit! He's like, I'm not, I'm not gonna drop it. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. That's insane. <laughs> and then they did. Um, Put it out in the open, like near the street, away from people, and then he jumped through the firework. Don't do that either. <laughs> Why would you do that? He didn't get hurt apparently, but that was crazy. I was like, "What the hell?" <laughs> Floridians. Floridians. Why would you do that? You're gonna die. <laughs> that's that's that was probably another Florida man thing. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. New Year's Eve, man <laughs> shoots off testicles with fireworks. Yeah, Florida man jumps through fireworks and burns testicles. <laughs> Why would you do that? It was entertaining for sure, though. But I was like, hey. but it was stupid. It was. <laughs> Don't try that at all. I was awful. surprised that he didn't get burned. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. seriously. <laughs> Oh my god, and you guys have to rush into the hospital and like, compete with all yeah. the other people who did insane he didn't, things. He didn't even get hurt. He was just, they were very drunk. <laughs> Don't be drunk and play with fireworks either. Yeah. It wasn't the smartest thing. So I went to um, Ashley's house. I watched the movie with her and Billy, just hung out for a while. And then um, I was leaving a little after midnight. Mm -hmm. And when I walked out to their parking lot, this car sped down, had to be going like in a parking lot, like coming off the street. They didn't even slow down to turn. Yeah. They had to be going like 60, 70 miles an hour into a residential parking lot, spun around to the visitors. Mm -hmm. And I was walking to the visitors because obviously I was a visitor. I was going to my car. Yeah. They parked right next to me. Ooh. Three or four people got out of the car mm -hmm. smelling of booze and weed. Mm -hmm. Didn't even close the doors went onto this grass, and then started shooting a gun into the woods. And you were right there? I was right there. And on the other oh side God. of those woods are people's houses. Oh, my God. Not even that far. And I'm just like, first of all, don't drive that fast in a residential area. 
Second of all, don't shoot a gun towards people's houses, even if there's some trees before the houses. And third of all, don't shoot a gun when you're drunk or high. And don't drive and speed when you're drunk and high. Do you know what why they were shooting guns? Like, I think it's because it was New Year's. It was like just after midnight. I think that was instead so of shooting fireworks. Thing, shooting guns? They do oh it here too. God. They shoot into the sky, which I'm just like, you know those bullets are going to come down, right? That like, is so stupid. I'll know. find bullets in the parking lot sometimes oh around. God. I didn't know that was a thing. I thought it was just fireworks. It wow. should just be fireworks. <laughs> but no, some people are like, oh, look, a gun. A gun. And he's like, where do you think the bullets go? And that was after New Year's, right? Like a little after? Right? It, was, it was, I, it I after? left at like 12.05. So it was oh, like. So you right at New Year's. I left right at right New Year's, yeah. So it was, it was like, they were going there for midnight and we're just a little oh, late. Like, Which is, I guess, why they were speeding. Because they're like, oh my God, if we don't shoot this like, gun oh, at shit, midnight. We're going to get bad luck. <laughs> But man, they, they, <laughs> and I think they were drinking in the car because the whole mm -hmm. car smelled like tequila. Like, oh man, that's, that's horrible. And I'm just like, they're going to kill somebody. Yeah. <sighs> so it's not just Florida people who are stupid. It's not just Florida people, it's Texans. I guess there's, they're all over the place. I'm hoping they didn't know there were houses on the side because I didn't know until I told Ashley. She's like, "There's houses right on the other side of those woods," and I was like, "Oh fuck!" I thought they were just shooting at trees, and I was like, "Man, there's houses on the other side." Ugh. People are stupid. They are. Oh my god! Hopefully, no one was hurt. I, I, I mean, I didn't hear anything on the news, yeah. so I'm sure. But the other thing is, like, down the street is a giant lake. Just go there and shoot into the lake. Yeah. Yeah, shoot into the water. Oh, you or, kill the fishes. Okay. But if you shoot straight ahead, it'll go far enough over the water before it starts slowing down. It's not really likely going to hit anything. True. And it's the other side of the lake is too far away. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. better than shooting in the woods when there's houses on the other side of the woods. Yeah. Or shooting in the sky and then it comes out and hits you. And in the woods, even if there weren't houses on the other side, you don't think there's animals in the woods? People make me angry. They do. They just really... They are very selfish. Self-centered. Yeah. They don't care about anybody. It's very... Like it's, their own happiness. Yeah. You can't. You can't. <sighs> less and less faith in society every day. It's sad. Uh, yeah. I try not to, but it's hard because <laughs> people are stupid. Yeah, very stupid. People are really, really so stupid. Hopefully, you know, this New Year, you know, people will be more smart. I don't know. <laughs> will be more smarter. <laughs> oh, dear Lord in heaven. I don't know. It's it's insane. Yeah. So what else did you do in Florida? You go to... Uh, well, you weren't in Orlando, right? So you didn't no, go to Disney World, the Universal. We were in uh, Tampa. So we saw the manatees. That was pretty cool. Yeah. It was like this manatee viewing center. And they were all congregated. They looked like rocks. They were in the lake and they all looked like little rocks. That's pretty cool. I know. It was pretty cool. I've never seen a manatee of course. Yeah, me either. So that was pretty cool. When I was a kid, yeah. we'd go to the beach, and um, you could sometimes find little sand sharks. They're, like, real tiny like that. Mm -hmm. They swim around in little little parts of the ocean that stuck up there. Yeah. And that was cool to look at. But I've never seen manatees. Yeah, this is the first time I saw a manatee. I was like, wow. They look like giant cows. <laughs> I just have seen... Cows. <laughs> And they were in a lake? Um, the ocean. The ocean, the ocean oh. yeah. Like a different part of the ocean. Like, yeah. That is cool. Yeah, it was like in the shallow end. It was pretty, pretty neat. Yeah. That's awesome. I need to go to the ocean again. I miss it. Me too. <sighs> Problem with Texas, it's all landlocked. I know. I mean, Corpus. But I don't live there. <laughs> yeah. Um, Houston. Yeah, like Galveston area. Yeah, it's like a six-hour drive from us. It's also their waves are like. Yeah, that. and their ocean. It's their their beaches are not as pretty as either California or Florida. Not at all. Yeah. And the waves. There's no real waves. Yeah, it sucks. We need better beaches yes. in Texas. Well, how would you get that? Unless oh, you... South Padre. I think South. Pa I heard South Padre was nice. I've never been there. I've never been either. But I where is that? It. I I think it's. Close to Corpus. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. The only the only beach in Texas I've been to is Galveston. Yeah, same Galveston. It was very dirty. And 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the ferry's nice. Have you ever been on the ferry? No, I haven't. The ferry's cool. Um, you go on the ferry, mm -hmm. you can see. Um, sometimes you can see dolphins, and you see oh, all the other ships. Cool. I like the ferry. It's always I, every time I go to Houston, I'll go on the ferry. Mm -hmm. It's it's real pretty. That's cool. Man, so you watched Nice One? Yes. I just saw that last night. What did you think? It was it was nice. I liked how you know um, different it was with the pool, the haunted pool. It, it was like they were going into like a tunnel that wasn't yeah, really there. Like it wasn't there. Like it opened up to a different dimensional like zone a different kind yeah of zone. it was it was really weird yeah. like they didn't dive too much into the lore spoilers mm -hmm. they didn't dive spoilers. too much into the lore i thought but i did enjoy the movie i enjoyed it i just hate movies where they're like you have to sacrifice somebody why <laughs> why can't everyone just live have you ever seen the mist uh, not the original the remake uh where the monsters are in the mist yeah come out and kill you right yeah i don't know if i saw the original but have probably, you seen the remake? Probably, yeah. Do you remember how it ends? Um, does everybody die? Or does somebody get, somebody gets sacrificed, right? So they make it to a car and they're driving off and mm -hmm. they only have three bullets in the gun. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, I think it's, um, if I remember correctly, it's like the family unit mm -hmm. is still alive. So the kids and then yeah. the wife and the him. Mm -hmm. And the car runs out of gas. Oh, yeah. And the mist is all around them. And so the father does, you know, the only thing he thinks he can. He kills, he kills the wife and the kids so that the monsters don't get them, so that their deaths are quick. I remember that part. And then as soon oh. as he kills them all, yeah. the mist he dissipates the and the military shows yeah. up. And then he's just alive by himself. I remember that part now. It oh is the God. darkest, most fucked that up was ending. so fucked up. I remember that now. Oh. oh. Now that's an ending that, like... Fucked with me for a long yeah, time. Yeah, he kills his wife and his son. He's and, the only one. and he did it because you know he didn't want them to feel the pain of being eaten. Yeah. Like he was trying to protect them, but if he had waited, but like then two it shows more you, seconds, you, know, you just have to wait. You just have to, you know. Like I understood his thought process, yeah. mm -hmm. but it's like, man, now you have to live with that yeah. forever. That if you had waited like five minutes, yeah. not even like ten seconds, it would have been fine. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that is a dark ending. Yeah, that was really dark. <laughs> but Night Swim, I mean, it was the obvious play. He had to. Yeah. He had to do it. He tried to kill that the coach's son. I know, but he didn't intentionally do it. No. Yeah. And the coach was just like, it's fine. We won't press charges, yeah. but your son can't come to practice He's for like, a while. No. He's <laughs> like, please stay away from us. <laughs> but, oh. I mean, I feel like they should have understood because he, he was almost dead, too. Like, yeah, and and the the happen. wife was like, it's his disease. Like it, yeah. it brings up his nerves. He can't move. Like yeah. so, it really did seem like he was having a. Like, I think, uh, and then the, the mother was like, "Whoa, our son said that he held on tighter." And it's like, yeah, but if his nerves clenched up, he would grab on tighter. Yeah. He wouldn't have a choice. Like mm -hmm. it could have easily been his disease that did it. That's yeah. not unrealistic to believe. Mm -hmm. But also, I, you can't blame her for being upset that yeah. dude almost killed her son. <laughs> and uh. then um, at the near the ending, whenever they're diving down below, and then they see all, all the other people who have kind of passed. Or, yes, or all they didn't the pass. We don't know all the people passed. who were kind of abducted. Yeah, I feel like why couldn't they have like grabbed them and pulled them to the surface? Here's my mm -hmm. question: Only the girl from the beginning of the movie helped them. Everybody yeah. else was trying to hurt them, but weren't wasn't everybody else there also a victim? Yeah, so, at the very beginning, the girl did grab the boy's hand and kind of scare him. I don't know. I don't she know what that was but about. but she was asking for help. She was so to me, help. that was her like help me. Yeah, like that was a fair response. Uh huh. True. But I do love that they're all sw they're swimming towards the surface, uh -huh. and the little girl. Mm -hmm. grabs the quarter, holds the quarter mm -hmm. out, and then lets go of it, and then it floats Look upward. Up. Mm -hmm. And that's when the mother realizes, oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. swimming deeper and she not higher. Yeah. It turned around. So she did save she it. Helped him. Mm -hmm. um, 
I do like that they threw in that the mother's dad was a Navy SEAL, so mm -hmm. she was training to deep dive. She was a little girl. Yeah. Like, that little subtle, just throwing that right. in there that she's an expert swimmer, guys. This is why she can hold her breath for such a long time. And why she figured out that thing with a hose, because I never would have thought of that. Oh, neither. <laughs> Like, I thought, when I watched it, I thought, oh, she's using the hose so that she could, like, pull herself back yeah. up. Instead, she takes a breath from it. I was like, I never would have thought of that. Like, <laughs> yeah, I didn't understand that part either. I was like, what? Ooh. I guess it's a diver thing, but we're not divers. Yeah. Like, I just, that was like, okay, yeah, well, like, right, <laughs> that's a thing. <laughs> they did not go into the lore heavily, though. No. They really didn't. Because I was still like, well, why? It's just, uh, just a, a blessed water, but why is it a blessed water? Yeah. Like, they, they went into saying that it's from a wishing well. And I guess they're like, you make a wish. And then it something. demands a sacrifice. Yeah, it demands a sacrifice. And is the mother, the Asian mother, uh, Mrs. Summers, is she still possessed after all this she time? Looks like she's still possessed. Well, it looks like she got possessed again, but the whole time she's like, I don't have a daughter. My daughter's sacrifice was worth it. So she still had that mindset. Yeah, she still had that mindset. So it's like, like this whole time, is the, the water fountain, it's the water from that well? Mm -hmm. It like, looked like it because she started tearing up black water. Yeah. And, and then when she poured the water, mm -hmm. it leaked out, and then it went back in. So it's like, mm -hmm. is she drinking the water from that house? Interesting. Did she bring a bunch of it with <laughs> her, and it's just... That's what it looks like. <laughs> <sighs> and I wonder if, like, the brother... Because they don't really mention the brother, and he doesn't visit her, because maybe he was... Oh, he's her. an ambassador or something, right? Yeah. He's very successful. Yeah. But he probably, I don't know if he remembers that night where the daughter... He got locked yeah, in a got room locked. while his sister died. So maybe that's why he doesn't visit his mother. Yeah. He's like, well, she's crazy. Like, she, she killed, my, killed sister. my sister. Yeah. When missing. she could have easily just sacrificed herself. But again... Well, <laughs> but they also, they know. did, they did establish that the water chooses. And the oh. person who makes the wish becomes the vessel. They did kind of establish that. Mm -hmm. So the mother couldn't have been the sacrifice because she made the wish. But who made the wish in the, in the other thing? In the other, the dad did. But I don't remember the wish, though. The they... wish, it's not like they threw a coin in and made a wish, but it's he. that's what he wanted. His heart desire was to be healthy again. Yeah. Her heart desire was for her son. Mm -hmm. So... She couldn't sacrifice herself to save the son because she was the wish maker. Her dream had to come true. Mm -hmm. He sacrificed himself because he was giving up the wish. Okay. And he was paying a debt that was old, owed for waking it, okay. forsaking the wish. Okay. So if she sacrificed herself, my understanding is the wish would have been null and void. Oh, okay. So she had to choose between her kids. Okay. He was choosing between his son and himself. So if she didn't... Like, if she sacrificed herself, the son probably would have died, too. Yeah. Yeah. But the son was dying anyways. Yeah, he was dying anyways. But then her wish wouldn't have come true. Wouldn't have come true. For him to be better. That's my understanding okay. of it. I could be wrong, but that's how yeah, I interpret that it. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. Because the water possesses the person who makes the wish. Yeah. That makes sense. And then chooses the victim. Yeah. It's still fucked up that she's like, oh... I sacrificed my daughter. And the dad. <laughs> Life is hard for him. We're doing him a favor. Oh my god damn. Why? I know. Shit. Like, that is dark. That is really messed up. Life yeah. is hard for him. <laughs> doing him a favor by outing him. By killing him. By killing him. Oh, man. But that was good. That was, I, I did enjoy it. I'm glad I went to go I see that. I enjoyed it. I just really hate that. I just hate those endings. So you want everyone to live happily ever after? Yes. It's a horror movie. Yeah. I hate it. People don't live happily ever after in horror movies. live happily ever after. No, that's comedy. No, you can have that in a horror movie too. Oh, goodness. There had to be a... But horror movies are morality tells. And so in order for it to be morality tell, there has to be a price that is paid. What what kind of lesson is being taught if <laughs> everybody gets to walk away? It's like, hey, we beat this. But that's not a lesson. <laughs> we beat this is not a lesson. <laughs> it is a lesson because it shows you that you can beat this well that says that, you know, you have to sacrifice someone. You can be like, no, I don't have to sacrifice anybody. 
you can sacrifice yourself. <laughs> Which is what he did. He sacrificed himself. No, he could have like just drained the well and just. There has on fire. It's a horror movie. Horror movies have to have a moral lesson. It's, 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 that's what they are. They're morality plays. If you're bad, bad things happen. If you're good, you'll survive Jason. It's, oh my it's, it's how <laughs> things work. You can't, you can't have this happen and then be like, everybody gets to just wash their hands of it. Yeah. Because then what was learned? It was a stupid ending. I'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> I like the ending. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the ending. I thought the beginning took a little while. Like, after after the girl got lost uh-huh. and then it went to the new family, I yeah. thought that dragged on for a little bit. Yeah, it did drag on. Like, the beginning, the, the, the stuff with the, the girl and her family was interesting. Yeah, that was really interesting. But then, when we got to the main characters, it just, it took so long to get to the pool. And yeah, get to the point. Yeah. But it, it was good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it despite the ending. But you like the ending. I like the ending. The only thing I would yeah. want more is, the like I said, the pacing in the middle a little better. And then dive a little more into the lore. Yeah. So tell us, like, how the Wishing Well became. Like, yeah, cause, became... Well, they said it was, even like, before it was a Wishing Well, it was, like, a, a creek. Yeah. And that water had like, the power. But it, why um, did it have yeah, the power? Why did it get so powerful? What, what uh, yeah, was, I would I would want to know a little yeah. bit more about that. How did it become that way? Was there a cult? Was there like witchcraft involved? Yeah, and normally when movies do this thing, like especially horror movies, where yeah. it's oh this has been happening mm-hmm. uh, for a while, they start diving into that. They reference it's been happening for a while, and then they just kind of let that go. Yeah, so they didn't really explain that part. And it's like, but you could have you could have gone like mm-hmm. Smile did it, where they research it and they deep dive it. This one was this. Let me call the real estate agent. Okay, let me visit the last person. And then, yeah. oh, it, it happens a lot, but no further information, no building of the lore. Right. I mean, I just that's what I I would have wanted more of that. But beyond that, I really did enjoy it. It yeah. was really good. I thought it was, it was a really good, good movie it was for good. such a simple premise of the yeah. swimming pool's haunted. Yeah. Oh, one thing that did really frustrate me was did they kill when... the cat. Huh? Did they kill the cat? Yes, that too. Oh my god, that too. Yes, I was so mad that the cat, because obviously he died. Yeah. Because you know you see the collar in there, and I'm like, no, why? What did the cat do? What's the cat? Well, do? the cat was swiping. <laughs> yeah, but the cat didn't do anything. The cat didn't make a wish. The cat didn't have a family. Okay, so say what you were gonna say, and then I have a question about the cat. Oh, about what I was, what I was. Most, what what most bothered about? Um, when the boy was drowning. Um, there was so many people in the pool and nobody knew, nobody paid attention. And, 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 and the boy was going like yeah, this, like this. And there and two girls, nobody. There were like two girls right there and they weren't even paying attention. And, and it wasn't until so the brother who was creepily recording everyone at the pool yeah. came down to save him. And that part really pissed me off. I was, like, I was very confused by that as well. I was well. confused and pissed off. I was like, how in this like whole entire area you do not notice a boy is like fighting for his life. Yeah, I, I was really bothered by that yeah. as well. But here's my question about the cat. Yeah. So it's a life for the wish, but the cat died. Isn't the cat a life? Yes. So why did the cat not fulfill the sacrifice requirement? Yeah. Or why? Because they never specified it had to be a human life. Mm-hmm. They didn't. And ancient rituals would often sacrifice animals. Mm-hmm. So why, why didn't the cat count as the life? Yeah, that, that made me mad. It was like, why why get rid of the cat and then get rid of the dad, too? <sighs> the cat's life should have counted. Yeah. Or just get rid of the dad and have the cat survive. Oh, okay. Well, now, now the dad <laughs> deserved to die. The dad should have made another wish, the cat to come back, yes. and then sacrifice and then, himself. If the cat survived, I would have been so happy. I would have been okay. <laughs> if at the very end they saw the cat come back, I would have been... I would have been so happy it would have been a happy ending at that point you know what would have also been cool is if they they saved the girl from the beginning oh yes i wanted that i wanted her to grab the girl's hand and pull I saw her, her up pull yeah her up. And, I was and like oh if you pull her out of the water she's back yeah like that would have been cool but no, yeah. they didn't do that either mm-hmm. 
But yeah, the cat died for nothing. Why? For nothing, because the, the cat's life didn't count yeah, for the sacrifice. That was so stupid. Like, you can't just kill a cat for nothing. You're evil. And how does time work? Because when the girl was there with her boyfriend in the pool... Oh, yeah. And she was under, she was under for a while, and he was like, you're only down there for a few seconds. Yeah. And it's like, well, if she was only down there for a few seconds, then... How how like does time work down there where the boy was still alive when she brought him back up? Right. Because he was down there for quite a while before uh-huh. she finally went down there. Mm-hmm. And I guess they referenced that because they they were like, oh, you were just down there for a few seconds. That's probably why he's still alive because. But my my argument count. is the opposite. Uh-huh. She was down there for a few minutes. Mm-hmm. He said you were only down there for a few seconds. So yeah. time is longer down there. Yeah. So while the mother was. You know, diving, mm-hmm. getting breath, tying yeah. thing around her. Mm-hmm. That was maybe like one or two minutes. Mm-hmm. But if a few seconds is a few minutes, then that was probably 20 minutes, yeah. 30 minutes mm-hmm. for the boy. You can't hold your breath. for tw- He'd be dead. Be true. But then again, when they're down there, I don't know if like the things like holding the breath really matters for them down there when they're down there. I don't know. But she still had to breathe. Yeah. I, I don't know. That part's really confusing. I'm just like, the, the rules seem to be a little yeah. up in the air yeah. as to what mm-hmm. what happens. Yeah. It's like, how did they, or how were they able to hold their breath so long down there? Yeah. How did they bring the boy back? Exactly. <laughs> it's like, he should have been dead for being down there that long. That's, that was kind of my thought. Yeah. But yeah. you can't have the boy die. Then it would just be sad. Yeah. But you can't have the cat die either. No, no, the cat. <laughs> cat can't, can't kill the cat. Kill the cat. <laughs> that darn cat. <laughs> but it was it was really good. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I thought it was a fun movie. Yes. Um, good way to start the, the new year. That was the first movie I saw in theaters this Me year. Me too. I want to go watch Fiari. Fiari? Is it Fiari? The car. The car? What's the car called? Fiari, right? Uh... The Fiar- Ferrari. Ferrari. Yeah. Ferrari. What did I say? Fiari? Ferrari. I didn't. I didn't see the trailer for that one. It looks weird, oh, okay. but it looks like the, the 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 birth of the company, the Ferrari. Yeah, Ferrari. Oh, okay. I, I left out a U. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> but the movie looks pretty interesting. But it's only playing like a select theaters. Oh, I didn't see the trailer for that one. It looks it looks pretty interesting. I want to go see that. And then uh, next week comes out. Um, what comes out next week? What, uh, I know I have. Uh, Beekeeper. Beekeeper, Beekeeper. yes. I, I don't remember the trailer for that one. It's, uh, I think it's Jason Statham. I'm not yeah. a huge fan of his, but yeah. he does do action movies well, and yeah. it's like uh-huh. he's a special agent trying mm-hmm. to stop things, and yeah. they call those special agents mm-hmm. beekeepers. Oh, okay, that's what it was. But I do want to go see that. That does look pretty interesting. Yeah. So. Um. <sighs> Man. I think that's the only movie that I have. Yeah, it's, it's, January's been kind of dead for yeah, movies. Yeah, January's kind of slow. The one movie I am kind of looking forward to is The Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Yes. When does that come out? I don't know. But I just remember seeing the trailer of that, and after that, I watched. I finally watched all three, was it three movies? Of the, yeah. Of the prequels. And I was like, oh, this is really good. So that's why I can't wait for the... I need to rewatch. I need to rewatch those. I also want to go back yeah. and rewatch the original six or five. Yeah, it's so good. Now, now that I I watched the originals, I'm like, I can't wait for the new one to come out. So on the original movie, I think they came out in the '60s. Um, you know, it's a spaceship and it, it lands. So, so the original premise of Planet Apes was a astronaut goes into space and then he um, crash lands on this planet, mm-hmm. and it's a planet where humans are slaves and gorillas apes run everything Uh and then at the end of the movie he finds the statue of liberty destroyed Mm -hmm. and he's like no (laughs) so on the james franco one Mm -hmm. in the beginning of the movie Mm -hmm. there's like a newspaper or newsreel or whatever and it's the name of the ship from the original movie see i didn't watch the original one so i need to go back and watch the original (laughs) Because I started with the James Franco one. The James Franco yeah. one, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it kind of implies that they're all the same universe. That's pretty cool. Although, I think the third movie involves time travel with some of the futuristic apes coming back to modern day mm-hmm. and helping set off how everything starts. Mm-hmm. 
it does become a little convoluted as those movies yeah. go forth. So I think these movies are just claiming the first one and maybe the second one, which ends with, I'm not going to tell you, but it ends yeah. weird. And it's just like, okay, how do you have three more movies after this? <laughs> it does. But, <laughs> but uh, I love the Woody Harrelson one too. I can't remember if that's the second or third one. You know who Woody Harrelson is, right? Bald guy. He was like the military commander guy. It's the oh, one where you find out that... Oh, is he like the, the the one that's evil? Kind of. He's the villain in that the movie. Villain? Yeah. I think I know. It's, it's the one where you find out that the, the formula is not only making apes smarter, like but is making people them. stupid. Uh-huh. Stupider. Yeah. yeah. It's that, that movie. I like that one a lot, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I need to rewatch them. They, they are good. They were so good. You need to watch the old movies, though. I do. They're corny, but they're they're brilliant. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to the new Godzilla. Oh, is there a new Godzilla coming out? Kong. It's not. It's not like Godzilla minus one, but it's in the the American movie universe. Mm-hmm. But I gotta watch Monarch first, and the TV show. But it okay. it looks pretty. It looks pretty good. Uh, you um, know, I'm excited for a Godzilla movie. Have you seen like Skull Island and series? No, that's a movie. The only series is there's a cartoon Kong cartoon that's mm-hmm. part of the universe. And then Monarch, but Kong Skull Island, the 2014 Godzilla movie, um, Godzilla King of Monsters, and then King Kong and Godzilla, I think are the movies. I think I, I saw the King Kong and Godzilla. No, oh, okay. You should watch all of yeah. those. But I'm looking forward to the new one. Yeah. They're they're building up that universe into some. That's something I'm looking forward to. I like Godzilla. I do. That minus one, though, was, <laughs> it so, was so brilliant. brilliant. We need more I movies like minus one. one. Yeah. That was really, really good way to end the year. It was. <laughs> it was. But I think we'll, we'll end this one now because I want to get to the conversation for the next episode. Okay. We talk about Gypsy Rose. Yes. So uh, I'm Jonathan. I'm Zelda. Give us legends. <laughs>